today. I'm talking about the Pico Gear wireless system. Now, I love camera gear, but out of the entire genre of camera gear, I think I love audio much more. And with the price tag of the Pico Gear wireless system, you really do have to love audio gear in order to want to pick this system up. But before we get into talking about the specs and everything of the Pico Gear wireless system, I'm going to turn off the audio processing right now so we can get a good sound of how the Pico Gear sounds without any audio processing. I've used it a few times in the past videos. I thought it sounded good and I thought it was warranted to actually deep dive into the Pico Gear wireless system. The mic is right here. It's much bigger than it looks, but it's more of a mic that you would use if you were looking for a discrete setup. So this is more of a vlog than a review, I should say. So before I get into the full review of the Pico Gear system, I just want to give some audio samples coming out of the Pico Gear system. Mostly I'm just going to be turning the audio processing on and off just to give you an idea of how it sounds. Right now, I'm basically in a forest preserve, but I want to head somewhere. And when I do have time on this busy day to jump out the car and get some footage, then I'll pull it out, turn on the mic and give you some samples of how it sounds. So here we are in Batavia, Illinois, walking across a bridge, across a body of water, although it's not making that much noise. This is how the audio sounds without any audio processing. But now let's turn the audio processing on. And this is how it sounds where I am right now. The microphone is pinned in the same place right here on my collar, but this is how the audio sounds. One thing to note is that if I was in Chicago downtown, then I would definitely get some audio there where the streets are a bit more busy, but I do not have any shoots in Chicago today. So this will have to suffice for this audio test. I will be passing through Aurora, Illinois, which is one of my favorite towns here in Illinois. I might stop through there. I said I was in Batavia, but I'm actually in St. Charles. All right, so right now I am at the Fox Lake River Trail and there is a dam right behind me. So we are testing out the audio on the Pico Gear mic next to this dam. Let's see how clear you can hear me. Right now the audio processing is off. Now let's turn the audio processing back on. Now this is what it sounds like next to a dam uh, on the Fox Lake River Trail out here in I believe North Aurora. And this is how it sounds. What do you think of the sound that's coming out of Pico Gear mic system right now as I'm standing in front of this dam? All right, so I'm gonna head to my car, try to find another location to test out the mic in, but I think this is probably gonna be by far the noisiest, the place with the most dynamic sound that I kind of run across today. Let's see what we find to continue to test out the Pico Gear wireless system. All right, so in Aurora, Illinois, stop for a quick capture of where I am right now. And now I'm gonna head out to my next location, my uh, next uh, photo shoot. And now I'm back home. This is what the Pico gear sounds like when you're in a room that has no sound treatment with a diffuser going in the background, that purple thing right there. That's a diffuser. I can hear it. I'm not sure if the mic is picking it up, but I'll be quiet for a second. And that is what it sounds like without any audio treatment. But now let's turn the audio treatment on. And this is what it sounds like with audio treatment. Still talking to the camera. Oh, well, in front of the camera, still looking at the screen, I would say. But this is what it sounds like in a room without any sound treatment with a diffuser, that purple thing back there with the diffuser going off. And that is what the Pico Gear system sounds like in this environment. All right, so I am back out in another wilderness setting with the Pico Gear mic system, wireless system. 
have the mic right here. You can see the little pin here. It's a pretty small mic setup. Let me uh, make sure this looks good, but it's a small mic setup, really discreet. I would say if you do a lot of interviews where you have someone with a button up shirt or a blouse and you don't want a heavy lavalier mic weighing down the shirt, then this is definitely a good system to use. All right, so we are walking to the park. Maybe you can pick up some of the background noise as I'm talking. There's a street, helicopters, airplanes going over. This is what the audio sounds like without any processing. And this is what it sounds like with audio processing. If you have any questions about the Pico Gear system, reach out, let me know. But I will be releasing a review video about this system. But thanks for joining, stay awesome.